Well, the owners of 58 Degrees here in Midtown tell me that they have been struggling to stay afloat this entire pandemic. They say that to-go orders didn't really work for them, so they relied solely on outdoor dining. But that was taken off the table for them last week when the stay-at-home order went into effect. I explain more in tonight's cover story. This is a step too far. Agnion Gavriloff, owner of 58 Degrees, who is also an attorney, says the latest shutdown was the final straw after spending thousands of dollars on outdoor dining equipment. We did our part, but the problem is our governor decided to change the, the, the script without any evidence, without any science, without any reason outside of his own political ambitions. That's why his business, along with Visage Salon, Sparkle Nail Bar, and four of his staff members are suing both Governor Newsom and Sacramento County. Not for money, but instead an injunction to stop the stay-at-home order, which he believes are adversely affecting minority-owned businesses who are hanging on by a thread. That spike had nothing to do with the nail salons, hair salons, or restaurants, but he had, to, he had to have a scapegoat, and so he did a political calculation. Who's going to be the scapegoat? The people that have no power. So we checked in with our ABC 10 medical expert. If you think about what happens in these businesses, it really is scientifically the perfect storm for spreading the infection. She says because up to 40% of people are asymptomatic with the virus, she has concerns about taking your masks off, not social distancing from your server or stylist, and mixing households during a surge in the pandemic. So you walk into a nail salon or a restaurant carrying the virus, possibly spreading it to others and not realizing it. Then you sit down in a nail salon uh, where you have close contact with somebody else, certainly for longer than 15 minutes. Now, Sacramento County told me that they could not comment on pending litigation, and the governor's office said that they are still reviewing the lawsuit at this time, but they did point us to a recent press conference with Dr. Galley when he said that this order is meant to reduce our mixing and movement as much as possible. Back to you. Lena, thank you, and of course, we'll keep you updated on that suit.